where are we? Type in an address that should suggest something for you. And hit the button. <laughs> and it'll search through our databases and find it. And zoom in and you can turn on aerial photographs, everything you'd expect sort of <clears throat> for a map guide server like this. Um, sort of have basic information here about it. Um, permits, it goes out to the PermitWorks database and counts how many permits just so they know. Laserfish, you can't do that as far as I know, unfortunately. Um, click on permits, it'll open up a, it should open a list of all the permits. Oops, where is it? Yep, there we go. And just a basic report of the permits and you can click on the permit, it'll tell you what's in there. And I've been talking to Steve about putting a you know, button on there so they can quickly add another permit if they have to or anything. And Laserfish uses the Laserfish web link piece to go out to it. And that's a little slow on our servers, unfortunately, just because of the way it's networked, I think. But <laughs> so log in. This is everything we have for that address, and you can just click on it and it opens up, just like the um, other client part of it. Um, as I said, this is just a really basic map guide to start with, and I'm working on one at the moment for the public works people that's going to have the Gopher State one call. Um, all the utilities, stuff like they just GPS all the street lights and we're making that into a, a database application so they can track, you know, what's going on there. Um, all the utility information in a, a, a works sort of scheduler so that the um, supervisor over there can tell people where to go. One of the problems we have is that not all the trucks have computers with um, an internet link yet, so we can't use that in all the trucks, obviously. And yeah, I mean, it's, this is it. <laughs> Some, Anyone have any questions or anything about it? <laughs> um, well, this is MapGuide Enterprise. We started out, out with the open source version, which is free, and they're, they're pretty much exactly the same. And then most of the data is being pulled from, I set up a MySQL database, and then we have the PermaWorks database, and then the Laserfish database as well. And it's running in Apache, but you can run it in IIS as well if you want. And it's running on Windows 2008, but there is a Linux version if you want to save money and use that, but. So are you using a free GIS mapping, or are you? We, we just upgraded to Enterprise okay. recently, yeah. But I mean, they're pretty much the same. The only reason we upgraded really was we had a license, and um, the support for the aerial photographs was a little bit better in the Enterprise version. Yep. What's the cost of Enterprise? Um, Dick's probably the one down to answer that. <laughs> Um, we've had up to like 20 at the most at the moment and it seemed to work fine. That, that was one of the reasons we went to Enterprise as well. It seemed to handle a few more people better, yeah. But we haven't actually done any you know, serious testing of it yet. And another um, thing you can do with it is um, make a WMS service, which is where you can publish all your information to Google Maps or something like that if you want, like um, you know, your zoning information or you know, anything like that. And um, all the GIS information is just still stored in its native shapefile format, so we can just bring in anything else we want in here. And I, I've only got a few things on here at the moment, but it's a really easy process to bring things in. Do you guys use, what do you guys use for payment management? Do you use Cartograph or Icon? Or? Icon, yeah. Okay. Yep. And one thing I'm looking at doing now is building a script that will just pass the information through automatically, so you won't have that screen, it'll just go straight into Laserfish. Which, so instead of having to type in my details, it would do it for me. So. Right. Do the capability to actually do some mapping with this. So let's say you have open permits and you want to know where they are in the city. Um, entering whatever it might be to bring up a map and have all the, the, the parcels highlighted of the open permits. Yeah, I mean, that's another, um, just a matter of setting up a layer that queries the permits database and pulls in the open ones. And that would just be another option here. You just you know turn on, turn off kind of thing. Can you set it to query besides? Uh, besides just the address, you can set it to query by owner name. Yeah, that, that's another thing I'm working on. To I'm just going to have another couple of fields under that for pen, owner name, and everything else. There. Just a, a couple other things to bring up. One of the things that we have written just recently, uh, we're going to be piloting for Dick, is handling the Gopher 1 calls. 
where they get emails that get dropped into a certain email address. We have a product that we wrote that scoops all those up and then puts them into the correct folder by property address. And so that's one of the products. So we do a lot of little gadgety kind of things, add-ons to Laserfiche to kind of make sure that we're following processes and making sure that something doesn't slip through the cracks and those, those types of things. But if you, you have ideas of, hey, I found a real cool use of Laserfiche, uh, boy, let us know. Uh, you send me an email or, or Dick and we'll share it with the group. Uh, if you have, uh, you would like to host one of these events at your location and show us what you've done, we'd, we'd like to schedule that and, and that would be a good learning event for all of us.